My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This car is BS, but that's a good thing. BS is right in the VIN number that tells you it's a CUDA. Otherwise, most of these are Barracudas made to look like a CUDA. This is an actual CUDA. They've put a 426 Hemi in it. Oh, it's got so much going on. It's completely built Hemi, custom, uh, custom suspension, four-wheel disc brakes. This thing's got it going on. 270 miles since it's been done. It's nice. So I hope you uh, join me. I'll tell you all about this one. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all the specs, study the pictures, and that's where you'll find the price. Not only on this one, we do have a few hundred collector cars for sale. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, why don't you buckle up, join me for a spin in a 1970 Cuda with a Hemi. Underneath the car, the floors, I don't think they've ever been spray painted. They purposely left them original. Uh, they're as honest as can be. Nothing's hidden. They're absolutely clean. I didn't see any rot. I didn't see any uh, cuts, welds, splices. Uh, the floor pans, the frame rails, even up behind the tires, it's clean metal underneath this car. Now the whole front end has been replaced with an altercation uh, front end. It's a whole new K member. It has tubular control arms, QA1 adjustable gas shocks, heavy duty sway bar. Um, all the components are upgraded. It has drop spindles. Uh, it has a quick ratio rack and pinion steering setup. So the front end of this car, probably about a five grand unit, all upgraded. Uh, it has frame connectors actually welded in the part of the car now so that prevents the body twist. Uh, in back, it's got new suspension, all new leaf springs, bushings, uh, new shocks. You look up at the motor, only 270 miles. It looks brand new. It has a big oversized Melodin uh, extra oil capacity uh, oil pan. The transmission is a Hughes Performance built 727 torque flight. But it's got a gear vendor overdrive, which makes this thing uh, friendly on the highway. All that's new. Uh, it's got a transmission cooler up front with a fan. Uh, it's got an aluminum transmission pan oversized for more oil uh, and aluminum with fins. That helps keep it cool as well. New drive shaft, new U-joints. It's a Dana 60 rear end in the back, and I'm gonna bet money that it's new. There's not a pit, not a mark. It looks like a completely new Dana 60 rear end in this car. The fuel system's replaced. The tank, the straps, all that's new. It's got a really nice fat custom exhaust system under there, stainless steel. Uh, it sounds great, you'll hear that in a little bit. And it's got the uh, tips, the rectangular tips that come right through the valance. I think it has the X-pipe in the center section, too. Disc brakes all the way around. Willwood disc brakes. The emergency brake system's hooked up. So it's got a lot going on under the car. And everything's neat and proper. This whole car is done neat and proper. Everything is installed properly, bent, and routed properly. The body is amazing. Absolutely laser beam straight. I don't find a ripple anywhere. The doors fit spot on. It's smooth even all along the bottoms. There's no bubbles, no blisters, no problem areas. I haven't found any cracking, shrinkage. Uh, the body, the fit and finish is excellent. You might have noticed it has a shaker hood. If you're going to have one of these, you got to have a shaker. Very cool. It's done in the argent silver. There's an actual lever under the dash that opens and closes. The fresh air coming in, that works. Uh, it has hood pins turn signal indicators, uh, has the optional road lamps, the grill is either new or restored, beautiful, uh, new bumper, an original antenna, new windshield, all the stainless moldings look like they're new. Uh, weld wheels, highly polished, they're aluminum, they look like they're chrome, 15 inch front and back, but look how much meatier they are in back, so they're wider with a much fatter 
tire. They're all BF Goodrich tires. It's got the CUDA gills along the bottom in real nice shape. Sport mirrors. Got the Hemi stripe. Door handles look new. Glass fits real nicely. Original glass. Got one mild straight scratch right there. A couple little marks on the back window, but overall the glass is real nice. Uh, tail panel is painted black, tail lights, bumper, all that's beautiful. Inside the trunk, I believe the quarter panels are original. I look up in there, I don't see any cuts or splices. It looks original. They might have put a complete trunk pan in here. Uh, so it's all metal, done nice. Uh, kind of painted a matte finish blue, but this is all glossy blue. You got a new sticker, new weather strip. Also has a collapsible spare with the complete jack assembly. There's also a car cover thrown in with this one. Inside the car is real cool. Both seats are sport seats. They're both power. They both recline. And the uh, center section is upholstered to match the back seat. So they're stitched and upholstered. They, they match. New center console with a TCI outlaw shifter. New door panels. The dash pad's really nice. I don't see any cracks uh, in the dash pad. That's excellent. Has a new tough grip steering wheel. The engine. It's a new engine. Casting number right on the side is from Mopar Performance. It's an outlaw, uh, no, worldwide products 426 block sold through Mopar Performance. It has aluminum heads. The aluminum intake says Mod Man, M O D M A N. Uh, dual Edelbrock carbs, brand new billet distributor. I mean, everything in here looks new. This thing's not been run, uh, and not much. I drove it home. Uh, the crinkle finish valve covers. The whole front of the motor is decked out with billet specialty uh, brackets, real cool looking pulleys, serpentine belt, one wire alternator, modern power steering. Door jams are beautiful, weather strips are replaced, sill plates are new. The gauges are those, it's a custom instrument panel, they're the white, uh, I think they call them cobalt gauges, they light up blue like the car, real cool. Uh, you got some switches there for the gear vendors overdrive, there's a factory AM FM radio, uh, the heater controls, the, the road lamp switch for the lamps up front, everything looks new. The, Dimmer switch on the floor. Uh, actually, there's two switches on the floor. I wonder what the other one's for. I'll have to find out. Getting back in here, lots more good stuff. You got a Willwood master cylinder. You got a modern power steering with the remote uh, aluminum reservoir with braided stainless lines. Uh, you got an Odyssey battery uh, with a custom bracket, custom uh, cables, a disconnect switch. Uh, Ron Francis aluminum radiator with dual electric fans. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a transmission cooler up here with its own fan. You got an overflow tube, you got an aluminum water pump, uh, the hoses, washer bottle, uh, wiring, everything is really nice. Has a set of headers, they're coated. I think I told you Edelbrock carbs. It's got the horns. Oh, the uh, VIN number on the core support matches the VIN number on the dash. Has a fender tag. This is B5 blue, if you didn't already know that. Uh, all the seat belts are excellent. This has the retractable seat belt right, right in the floor. It has seat belts front and back. But I did drive this home. I mean, it'll, it'll get up and scoot real well, but you can just drive it normal, too. On only 270 miles on it since it's been done. Okay, the original AM FM radio looks brand new. I don't know if it's reproduction, but it works to everything. The heater control. You can push the gas pedal. And then you push it harder and that opens up the other one. You got eight barrels opening up when you tromp on that thing. It's done nice.
door shuts with a thunk. Blue gauges are really cool. Door jams are real nice. This is a high quality Hemi car, all new stuff. I mean, you can tell it's 270 miles. It's not grimy or dirty or worn at all. That's my opinion of this one. You can go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways to contact the salesman. They'll answer any specific concerns or questions you might have. They can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you get financed. Go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.